Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah, and this is the next video for Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm worried, and I feel like I've opened so many videos by saying that, but this time I'm 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 really worried because we, thanks to Dutch and his uh, wonderful wonderful plans, are going to rob both the Greys and the Braithwaites, both of whom, well, I guess mainly only Greys think that we're on good terms with them. Arthur is on terms with one of the Braithwaites. Is her name Penelope? I forgot her name. But the Romeo and Juliet story going on in the background between our two lovebirds from the Greys and the Braithwaites. It's very cute, very cute. I like that Arthur's facilitating that, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so everything probably is not going to be great anymore though, because yeah, Dutch says, hey, we're going to rob both of them because money, you know, not just rob one, two. Gotta love it. Ah! Okay, okay. Besides that, not too much happened last time. We went on a couple of fishing trips. Uh, Micah kicked Kane, and I have never felt more blind rage in my life. And I know we've discussed this many times before that I'm not a big fan of Micah at all. I mean, really, who is? But I think that was just the cherry on top of everything that he's done so far. Kicked our poor innocent camp dog. Like, there's, there's no going back after that for me. And I'm really sad that you can't do anything. You can, uh, kind of be a little bit mean to Micah, which was nice, but you, there's not much else that I could do. I'm sorry, Kane. I can't defend your honor. Maybe I will in the future. Please say that there's an option to get into a fight with Micah, because if there is, I can die happy and live in peace. That doesn't really make sense, because then I'd be dead. I can't really live in peace, but I can die in peace. My death will not be in vain. Something like that. Okay. I have said all I need to say. That's pretty much the setup for this. And yeah, just know that I'm worried. Woo! Our lovely, lovely camp. Looks like we have a lot more to do on the fucking bitch ass motherfucking bitch fucking dipshit. You gonna get out there and make some money? You're one to talk. Those didn't match, but still. What are you doing? You're a waste of space. What are you trying to do here? I gotta call him a waste of space? You're such a big man. I do. He's a far bigger man than you. He has the ginormous fucking big heart. Among other things. Sarah, stop. Okay. Arthur. So, uh, Arthur. Yes. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll talk to you. What's up? Well, now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> I thought uh, it was about pretty. What Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Charles! Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. I can't okay. argue with that. Charles! My boy! My man! I I wanted to talk to some other people first, but apparently not. Um, Somebody told me that Arthur is a little bit weak, so we, we gotta feed him somehow. But, uh... How do I figure out... I'm still not not entirely sure how we figure out Arthur's, like, weight and status and everything. I'll just... I'll, I'll, I'll oh, take I some... I don't Sorry want any to chewing tobacco. That. Okay, okay. We're gonna go talk to Charles because we love him. Charles! My man! Oh, I'm getting a phone call that's trying to interrupt my time with Charles. Okay, shut up, phone. Let's go. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Yeah! Should I make... Should I make Arthur eat something first? The bread roll. Bread rolls are very filling. Okay, okay. 
Excuse me, folks. Charles and I are going on a mission. My horse is over here, so I'll be right back. So big! Much bigger than our last one. Come on, Randy. Come on, pet him. Is that Lenny? Okay, Hi, Lenny. Girl. Oh, and brush. Let me brush my horse, and then I'll get on. Let's go if we're going. I, you know, a relationship with your horse is very important, Charles. You should know this. Aw, lovely music. All right, let's head out. Come on, Charles, now you're the one lagging behind. Oh, Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney. Yep. About these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. Yep. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was going to play oh. him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> it's one way. Mm. So, spirits seem good in the new camp, I mean. We're doing we all right. Between yeah. us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Mm. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Okay. Whoa. This is a nice little camp we got going it's on. That one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Knock knock. Oh, sorry, Charles. I'm getting in your Someone way. Got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Detective Morgan on the case. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Who got to him? All right, let's check this over here. It's not made, so he must have been here recently. What's the note say? Mm. Shares, shareholders. Can I flip it? Okay. You well, see anything there? I'll take that. Wait, let me pick it up. There was something to pick up. But what? Over here? Okay. We're being thorough. Open. I can't carry carry anymore. Okay. Okay. What do you think? What about up here? That's not what I wanted to check, but that's okay. There's a cigar. Close the drawer. It highlighted it. I know that I can open it. Found anything? No. I, I, I would like to. I would like to search, please. Okay, okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, Arthur. Please stop stepping Big on struggle. tables. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. I guess Tracks. maybe uh, twelve hours Come ago. On. But no body? Not yet. It said clue. What was the clue? Come on. Before they get too far ahead. Okay. It's okay. We know everything that we need to know. Bad we stuff happened. How's your tracking these days? <sighs> Alright. I guess. Hmm. Well, I think it's okay. Lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. Living a little you bit know, more rough now. When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, 
After the bar fight? I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. Talking. I wish that was my special talent. Away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Uh, hello? Arthur, where are you going? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. Are you guys I don't suspicious? Think he's here. <laughs> are you sure? Ah, uh, you seen a strange sort of feller. Sort of formal. Strange. Sure. Formal? No. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Oh, boys. Oh, boy. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Okay. Oh, I was trying to block. Block. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, I wanted to punch him, but it looks like Charles has got this covered. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Uh huh. I believe you 100%. I'll question you one more time, though. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay. He only took one hit. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Cool. Let me see you again. You hear me? We have all the information you got we lucky need. There, my friend. Yep. Did they oh, they wouldn't really drop anything, would they? Oh. Is he okay? Is he alive? He's just sleeping. Cool. Down to the cabin. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Lead yes. away, Charles. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Okie dokie. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. I'm Just sure. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He Ooh. don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. Let's hope not, then. I don't know why still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well... Loyalty matters to Dutch. Doesn't sound like he'd be very loyal then. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah. yeah. Kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Hell yeah, I will. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. I feel yeah. that. That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. And we are the fish. Okay. Well, we're still going to save him, because that's what we do. And I don't mind saving him, because he's not Micah. If it were Micah, I would feel differently. Everyone else in the camp, though, I don't have a problem with. Like, some of them are more annoying than others, granted. But they're, st they're still okay. I think it's, it's just Micah. <laughs> I'm biased against him. And then I have people that I would die for. I would die for Char Charles, like 100% done. Uh, Abigail, I love her. Sadie! 
Lenny. I like Sean. He's okay. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> uh, they said it was not worth it. So. Uh, so you're alive. Uh, allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Okay. Yeah, Chase. Let's go. Okay, okay, we're going. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Listen. Did you see those birds? Did. They're right there. I see them. Cornfield really isn't the best place to hide. Where's the other one? God damn these sons of bitches. Gonna loot them first. Okay. Where's the other one? Is he in the other cornfield? Not for long. Come on, you cowards. We need to find these bastards. Uh-huh. Look for disturbances. Come on, camera. Work with me here. They over here? Charles is still right here, so... Oh. There, he's right here. We got one more, Charles! We have enough... Were there only two? Or is it just us saying, like, oh, we got him. Go Where are the birds? I'm going! I only saw two of them. I don't know if there were three. Okay, he's over here. But where? We're just, we're doing a lot of running. Is he in this field? Hello? I'm not doing... I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone oh. far. So he's gone. Tracking? I can't track, but I can search. Can I search for clues? That's bullshit. Okay. He dumped his gear. Can I look you at this? Anything? Nope. Oh, Jesus! I, fo I found him! I found him! Help! Charles! He's mine! Let me take him. I don't! You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Uh, shit. Thank you. Ah! Gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Uh, 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 are these the only weapons that I have? Okay, come on. Okay. Okay. I got you now. He's backing off inside. Get after him. I'm going, I'm going. I am going. Oh, mother bitch. I'm go I'm going from behind. Ah. Fuck it, bitch. Ooh. That worked. All right. Okay. Let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? No. Sure don't. Come on. 
Is there anything I can loot? They beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. No nope. luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Ooh. Had to go back for the gun. Sorry. Uh, but anyways, so if there was any I doubt before... I, we're going. We're going, Charles. Come on. If there was any doubt before about my love for Charles... Need I say more? Holy shit, Charles! Not only was he super, like, calm and composed and, like, badass about saving us, not even a doubt in his mind of running well, away. He was like, here at least. no. You have my friend. Put your feet up, you will die. You okay? Oh. Never okay. Fine. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Mm -hmm. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So that I we did. Here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. All right. Also, another side note, Arthur's eyes are fucking gorgeous. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. It was such a beautiful little fragment of his journal, and then the horse is just in the background. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, what do we have on the map? Okay, cool. We have a question mark. We'll do that first. John. John's another one that I would die for. I don't know why, but I like him. Trelawney's back at camp. We have some other side quests to do. Okay, okay. Oh. My horse is right there. I don't know what I'm doing. This is what I was trying to do. Trying to get to the journal. Yes, we've seen this. Aww. I remember. This is so cute! I love him. Okay, so... Here we go. I wasn't scrolling through them properly before. I was looking at them from, like, chapter to chapter. Fish. So I just kind of wanted to go through. Oh my god, he has had such beautiful drawings. And then look at that little drawing of the cougar. That's adorable. I love you so much. Holy shit. Yep. Again, people told me that I could have killed the slave catcher. But I didn't. Can I help you, sir? Morning. Hello. Sir, good morning. Good morning to you. All right, what direction? Uh, before we go any further, though, need my hat. Um. Okay, just kind of straight ahead down this road. I ain't been too many federals coming through. Let's see. stop right where Ooh. you are. Me. Yes. Hey. Don't I know you from somewhere? I can't Why, beat them up in town, though, though, can I? Shady Bell is on. I remember it. Uh, it uh, no, wait, whoa, holy shit! 
I can't use weapons, right? Ow, I'm gonna get myself killed. Ah. Oh my God, okay. Oh, I'm getting, sh I'm literally getting shanked right now. Can, am I allowed to use self-defense? I feel like I should be allowed to use self-defense there. I also, uh, I thought they were the stranger. Were they the stranger? Or was there a different stranger, like, nearby? I'm gonna lose money. I don't... This is lame. This is stupid. $83! New journal entry! See, I cannot use weapons or cause trouble, but technically they cause trouble first. So... If we want to get specific about it. Oh, this is just that. Oh. Uh, the whole place is beginning to give me the creeps. I love Arthur. Okay. Well, that was stupid. So, um... What if I just ride past it this time? Uh, because that was lame. I literally just lost a hundred dollars by getting shanked. See, I'm going past all this. Is it you, stranger, sitting over here? How can I help you? You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself... A fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, Can we beat him up for you? Compared to the gutting castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me. I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that way. Let's beat them up. I'm Not even beat them up. I'm okay with killing Please them. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm-hmm. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's in. Okay, thanks. Let's go, girl. The fact that Arthur just marched his sorry little ass over there. He was like a mama bear. Don't go to any trouble on my account. He was like, oh no, you fucking sit there and, and just be... Be patient, and I will go, and I will kill these motherfuckers for you. I love that. I love him. Yeah. Again, like, the whole outlaw life is, is black and white, but at the core of it, Arthur has a heart of gold, and I'm just... It makes me afraid for what a story like this will do to a character with a heart of gold. Because they're the exact they're like they're an outlaw. They're in an outlaw camp, living an outlaw's life. And it makes me scared what that outlaw way of life is gonna do to a good person. I'm sorry. I I have been pushing my horses too much. So I'm gonna take pity on them. Oh, that's not what I wanted. And here, feel better, horsey. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, it's good for me too. I should eat as well. My health isn't really all the way up. Um, just some plain old game. Okay, does this have us taking like a roundabout way? Yeah, see? I know that we could go on the roads, but look at how much faster it would be just to go straight there. But I have been told I should stick to the roads more, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play it safe. No running through the woods like a madman, even though I really, I really want to do it. So bad. We're gonna enjoy the roads and the flowers. But, no. Like I was saying before, it just, it has me worried at seeing how good of a person Arthur is underneath everything. And sure, he, he's morally complex as well. He still murders people and robs them. So there's no like 100% good guy there. But still, at, at the core of things, he's a good person and wants to do good things and help good people. And that's valuable. I don't want to be in the swamps, so I hope we're not going all the way in there. Swamp scared me last time. There's a fucking ghost just wandering around. There's alligators everywhere. There's no escape from the wild and the wacky in this game. Uh, I'm gonna... It, it's probably gonna be seen as like an aggressive thing though if I do this, but do I really care? Maybe not. Ow. Whoa! I don't know where I'm going! Uh, don't mind me! So I feel like I was pretty good in the previous videos with not dying and like winning in a gunfight, but this time I didn't really do well. So that's fine. I just, I wanted to pull out my guns, that way I had it ready. But then I pulled it, and then it was pretty much just, you know what, here we go. The Lancaster is supposed to be a good one though, right? I don't know. So we'll do that. We'll do here. We will be non-aggressive. Maybe we can talk to them first. Who goes there? Hi. A friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up with it, ain't he? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. And that's all he needed to say. Thank you very much. Racist piece of shits get what they fucking deserve. So, uh, yeah, fuck you. Come on. Oh, go ahead. Just peek a little. Oh, fucking bitch. Why are you looking up there, Arthur? Okay. If you done, boys, I'll go. Okay. Are they all dead? Because they deserve to be all dead. I shouldn't have even talked to them. I was gonna say, they, like, they showed their true colors right away. No regrets. Fuck y'all. I'll get his wagon, but is there anything to grab? I don't want to miss anything. I feel like this game is so full of stuff that can be missed. And I know I've missed a ton of stuff already and I will miss even more stuff in the future. But still. Okay, okay I just, I wanted to see, that's all. I'm just, I'm gonna loot him. And then we'll be on our way and we will take, Oh, look at his little wagon. That's okay, so cute. Get you back to the doctor. All right, let's go. I am satisfied. I am completely comfortable with the slaughter that just happened. 
I was almost, oh, <laughs> ran that bastard over. I was a little bit sad it ended so, so soon. I mean, I did die to them, but we, we don't have to talk about that. Once I had a strategy, it was easier, but uh, I recognized that maybe just jumping straight in front of them and missing all my shots was a bad way to start a confrontation. So, but we learned. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, come on. Don't fucking. They got way more shots in than they should have. That's my fault. But we're here. We're alive. It's okay. I'd call that a win. I'm gonna take it. That's all that matters to me. Is this a good guy? Bad guy? Oh, he's just he's just going the other direction. Okay, that's acceptable. That's fine. Making our way back into town. Ooh. Excuse me, sir. I have an important delivery coming through. Again, this game makes me want to go out in nature. All right, up the hill. Climb, horses, climb. Hello, stranger. Goodbye, stranger. And now we're on our best behavior. So no running into those raiders like before and getting shanked. And losing a hundred dollars? A hundred? I mean, it was 83, but still. It's ba that means basically a hundred. And a hundred is a lot. I'm very bitter. Okay. Sir! Uh, Sir! You know this better, don't you? Yeah. Here you go. Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But no, I but can so. live in glorious hope. There's a few less now. It wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, yeah. let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on Ooh. my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. I am so happy. This game is everything I've ever wanted. Ah! Where's my horse? I just so emotionally satisfied that we get to do that. We get to go in, help someone out, kill a bunch of racists. Cool. Um, that seems like a main quest, so maybe we'll go back to Tre Trelawney? Yeah. And he Wait, John's at the Greys, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna go to Trelawney first, because those seem a little more main quest level. Alright. Hop in. Let's go, folks. God, I fucking love video games so much. I don't know why I'm just in this mood right now where I'm realizing... Where? Uh, uh-huh. Where? Where? Oh my god! You're a marked man in the state of Lemoyne! Move up, Raiders! Uh, fucking bitch-ass motherfucking bitch- I Oh my god! I-I-I'm I, trying to do dead eye, but it's not working! Please 
you say that doesn't reset me? That's just like mission fail and not like anything else. Can I put my money in a bank so that this doesn't keep happening to me? I tried making it to the rock to get a hundred and eleven dollars. Oh my god! I'm bothered. Okay. This is why I go in the forest. They wouldn't have gotten me in the forest. Nope. I would have just run into a tree. That's about it. Hey, Hi, Garen. There. It's me. It's Arthur. Welcome back, Arthur. I'm so bitter. Arthur. Yeah, yeah, here Are I am. No. What do you need? Uh, well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Oh Hardly what? a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. <laughs> but, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Okay, well, I'm gonna go off and rob some things now. Is it noon? Can I eat first? Is that something I can do? I'll come back. I'll eat later. It's like me in real life. I forget to eat all the time. Roads, because what can possibly go wrong there? <laughs> well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me, I like to make friends in low places. Okay. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. <laughs> Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, uh -huh. you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So... Where exactly are we going? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. The post I'll office? I'll make the Arthur. Okay. Yeah, well, he has a bad feeling about the whole thing with the Braithwaite's and Greys. And I do too, so that just reaffirms it to me. I'm gonna pet my horse. Pet, pet, pet. Oh, okay. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the I want I wanted to pet my horse. To scare him off. Okay, use your big fancy words. I'll just be in the background looking pretty. That's what I can do. We are the eye candy of the operation. Oh, okay. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. <laughs> they often are. 
But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've Oops. been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. I do. Here's, here's money. There. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. <laughs> well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. All right. Stick it to the boss men. I like it. Oh. Oh. I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Let's go. Woo! We're like Robin Hood. Rob okay, the rich. Let's go. This way. And feed the camp, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. It's not really helping anyone else but us. But you know what? Fuck it. It wasn't me! I didn't do it. What did I tell you? Simple as, Simple can, as be. can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't Whoa. sure about going back to Strawberry after all that mic We've already been back though, Didn't haven't sound we? like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. Mm. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. He always has a plan. Wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Sounds good. I was gonna say I was so carefree and happy, and now I'm just worried again. Are. This is the spot. The spot for our robbery. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. Yeah. What do you think? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open Sneak the attack? strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how I'm do I I'm open the this. strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> yes. and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll okay. be here soon. I guess we'll see how this goes. There but I'm excited! Right Got like a little lockpick. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And... Please leave that gun in its holster for once. Okay. I'm keeping my distance. I'm so far away. Nobody will see me. And I will not accidentally pull out my gun. I won't. I see you doubting me. But there's no doubt this time. I'm gonna do it. 
Okay. Let's go a little faster now. Oh, can I watch him? Oh, there we go. Hello. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm preparing for you. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? It's a small benefit. Blackwater. Just like Mrs. Chester Damson. I like him. <laughs> He's my type of con man. <laughs> Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Okay. I feel like we're a little, a little too close, but... We're not suspicious at all, just standing there in the back. Friends and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Okay. Do we just, are they going to tell us when there's an opportunity? Could you? It's, it's such a small show, but would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo-soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. <laughs> he is good. <laughs> okay. I feel like this could go so bad. That guy over there. Okay, 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 okay. Carefully, carefully, carefully. My good man, they're perfectly safe. Can we go, please? I got a train to catch. Oh, would you be quiet, you horrible little man? <laughs> One more time, from the top. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> Can I run now? Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? Did we do it? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. I feel like we should have, like, tried making it look a little less broken, but that's okay. Okay, well. That could have gone much yeah. worse. I feel like that this, this went okay. I didn't lose $83 or $111 by dying, so... We can be sneaky. So sneaky. We did so good. Well Give us done, a high five. Sir. Well done. It was easy. High five. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Can rob some more stage coaches. Okay. And down. Not that bad. Okay. okay girl. Now do we see Hosea or do we see John first? That is the question that must be asked. That's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. John is right here, so we could do that. John and Javier, something to do with great weights, horses. Hosea and Sean. I don't know. I They're closer to us, so I'm gonna we're, we're gonna go here. That's what we're gonna do. <sighs> I love stories of con men though. 
Usually not like violent con men, but um Like they show white collar. Like for a cable show, I actually really, really enjoy just like the white collar crime, the forgeries, the con men element. Like I that's my shit. I love shit like that. It's so good. Just seeing a little bit of non-violent like cons in this. I'm enjoying it. The acting. Can I help you there? Yeah. Sure. Those are supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a cool. wonderful day now. Okie dokie. Let's go meet up with our boys. Also, two characters I enjoy so far. I mean, I'm still mad at John for abandoning his family and abandoning his friend Arthur. Like but, you, you know, you don't know me. live and let live. You turn up in this town and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? Hello. No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Okay. Sounds like we got a plan. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. <laughs> One thing I took away from that is that John needs a bath. Good lord, man. I want to brush my horsey. Easy, girl. You're okay. Okay. Like, yeah, you got a little dirt on your face, John. Well... I'm gonna steal some horses. I mean, it could be worse. I feel like this could go okay. Maybe. See the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. Yeah. Should we have Don't done them first? Be any more complicated than it already like, is. are they already there? Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. I'm worried yeah. now. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Money is money. It is true. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. Gonna be sneaky. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Well, Three okay. armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should this go in the true. back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Okay, 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 okay. This will go perfectly fine. There is no need to worry, Sarah. It's John Careful. and Arthur and Who's Javier. And we are him, so okay. strong. Use your sweet words, John. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment 
and some stables down here. But let us in. We should look elsewhere. Well, I... okay then. Let's head on up to the stables. That's right. Someone That's fucking right. Cool. Whoa. We did it. We did it, boys. My gang. These are my people, man. I love them so much. Coming past. Oh no. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. I'm getting Don't attached to everyone. Unnecessary attention. I love getting attached to characters, but I also hate it, because that means that if anything, like, if they get hurt or if they're sad. If somebody is mean to them, then it's like they're mean to me. Alright. I think that's the state was just up My ahead. heart is too Head soft. Play cool. We are front, so cool. Up there. We are the con men now. See, on our way to steal some horses. Alright, let's hitch up here. Yeah. Okay. Act natural. Good job, horsey. Let me do the talking. Oh, we gonna do the talking now? Cool. I'm gonna brush my horsey first. Because I have priorities. Good horse. Yeah, you're alright, girl. Okay. Okay. Uh, we belong here. We would like to purchase some horses. For reasons that aren't suspicious at all. Hello, sir. Hello there. How's it Can going? I, you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Yep. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Mm -hmm. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Still kill. Ah, uh, greaser, huh? Oh, okay. I just thought we were gonna Maybe like knock him out. Don't need oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh huh. Bandana on. I'm gonna put a hat on. Just, just. Be oh, I don't have a hat because it's on my horse. That's okay. Fight one in the middle. You get the other two. It is. Oh, I get a white horsey. It's so pretty. Relax, boy. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Easy now. Easy. It's, you know what? Easy. Just okay. be soothed Not by easy. Arthur's beautiful, beautiful voice. Okay. Good boy. Here, you're gonna lead the stallions. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Alright. We got him. This is all good. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup. The music has me on edge. What are you doing? Let's go, quick. Time to run. Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! Oh, uh, well, fuck. I don't, I don't want to. Oh. Oh. I don't, I don't want to kill them. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I don't want to just stand here and get shot. That's not what I would like. Watch it. Ah! Those guards by that way. Okay. Run him over. Oh, I missed. Got him. Uh, There's behind me? Oh, I'll hold him off. There's a gap in the fence. We can get out that way. 
Got him. Let's try to lose them in the trees. Okay. I like this gun. This is a pretty good one, actually. I do feel bad about killing the innocent people, but um Outlaw life, I guess. We could have just knocked that guy out at the stable. Okay, okay. No? Don't think so. Are we good? Alright. Are we get safe? These horses to Clemens Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. Whoa, you okay there, boy? How easy do you think that's gonna be though? Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! Uh-huh. I'll get him! Come in. Gotcha. Come on. Come on. Uh Okay. Come on, that Morgan. Over here. I'm over here. Ow, 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 ow. That's not what I wanted. Did I do I still have him on the leash? I don't I don't have him on the leash. Did I lose him? I lost him. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Naughty horse. I thought he was attached. Apparently, I lost him. So. Well done. Lemon's Cove's just over there. Come on. Okay. Let's get this going. Well, that could have gone smoother. Yeah. That'll be on my gravestone. Whoa. <laughs> You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. Mm. Ooh. Let's see. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, I was like, did he just run away? What's happening? Um, I'm gonna be unarmed. We mean no harm. What you boys want? <laughs> this time. Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. <laughs> John, Arthur, Javier. Nice to meet you. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah. I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. No. Nope. But I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But. I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close again. Him in this invisible rope. Well, that really could have gone better. At that point, we might have just... I don't know, I should have just kept the horses. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. And imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. Yeah. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Well, 
it could have been worse. Somebody could have gotten hurt, and the plan could have gone south, so I'll take it. Dutch. You must have some warm blood if that's all you're wearing. Hey, y'all. Hello. It's like a good book there. Very enjoyable. Well. Well, I'll leave it to it. Yep, that's, that's all we got. Um... Since I lost a lot of my money, I don't have as much as I would like. But we'll do like $10? Nine. Oh shit. Ten. Cool. Okay. Like ten bucks. Um, do we have any more upgrades that we could do? I... Just hearing Micah's voice in my ear. Okay, okay, okay. That, that right there. I'm scared. Fucking shit. On so many levels that I can't even begin to explain, that piece of dialogue right there has me more worried than practically anything. The fact that Micah, such a, like, dangerous, verging on fucking evil person, says to Dutch in that tone of voice, saying that I'll do whatever you say, always. Things are gonna go bad, aren't they? Eventually. Holy shit, I'm- oh. This game is so good. <laughs> Maybe it'll all be fine. It'll all be fine. It's gonna be great. See? The music's in the background. It's great. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's fine. I'm gonna go talk to little itty baby over here, because he'll make me feel happy. Hi, Abigail. Bye, Abigail. Hi, baby. Morning, to you. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Let me know if you find candy. You're a good kid. There she Hi, Mary is. Beth. Morning, Arthur. Good morning. Sometimes I wonder why you stick with us reprobates. <laughs> oh, you ain't so bad. Uh, you know. Anyway, shouldn't put ideas in your head. Sounds good. Oy, oy, oy. I got a question mark. Who can I t can I talk to Tilly? Hello. You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Counseling sessions with Tilly. Yes. yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I what? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been getting real violent. For no good reason. Hurting people just for the sake of it. This is what yeah, we said before, bad, yeah. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Thank you, Tilly. We're gonna be better. We're good. We're a good man. We're good. I believe you believe in us. Okay. Um. Where's my tent? I would like to maybe shave. This is the only time. Oh, Hello? What you want, Shut Micah? the Nothing. fuck up! I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello there. You really are. Hey, can this wait? I'm kind of busy right now. If you're such a busy man. It stinks a coward right around here. Sticks and stones. <laughs> Yeah, walk off, you little Always bitch. Always a pleasure, Mr. Strauss. <clears throat> Make I hate him so much, guys. So much. I think he looks better without his hair slicked down. I don't know. Um. <laughs> yeah! 
No. I'm not gonna do that to him. Um. I don't know. I kind of like the scruff that we have, but I think I'm gonna go back to the clean shave, and we're gonna try that out for a little bit. We're all good here. Um. We can fast travel now, can't we? The puppy! Where's the puppy? I hear him. The baby! Kane! Come here! Hey boy. You know you're a good boy, right Kane? Right? I'm gonna pet you extra because of Micah. Good boy. Yeah. It's not a Red Dead video if I don't pet Kane or any dog at least once. Ooh. Ooh, the puppy. Put something warm on, would you? Oh, I have goodness. something warm on. Bye, Molly. Okay. Well, I hate that Micah is so close to our tent. This is my safe place. This is where all my stuff is and where I sleep. And you can go find another tree to lay against because fuck you! Bitch. This. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah, fast travel. Except where am I fast traveling to? Is it the Gray's place? No, it's the Braithwaite's. Yeah, Braithwaite's. Would it be faster to travel to roads? Oh, I can just straight up go there. Hey, let's go. Saddle up. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm really worried. <laughs> Sadie! I love Sadie. Sadie makes me miss my blonde hair a little bit. A little, a little more than usual. Although I didn't rock it quite as well as she does, so. But still. Hey yo! How's it going? We have business here. Enough. Move along now. I'm moving. Okay. Yet again, everything will be fine. Let's go check in with Hosea. Getting our stamina up. Running everywhere. We'll do that. Ah, please come in, sir. Okay. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Arthur, welcome. We are just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. We're totally friends. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say we're he pretty is as dumb smart. as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Pay Sacred us. Bonds, medals. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> I love Hosea. He might be one of my favorites, actually. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. It'd probably be best if Sean drove. Because I suck at it, but we're gonna do our best. And we'll try and not crash into anything important or All seriously right, maim anyone. But uh no promises. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. <laughs> okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. 
Said it'd be fitting, she did. Okay. I'm taking this hell about oi toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the hell, bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? <laughs> ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm not for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose yeah. knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, I believe in him. Easy. He's got this. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Yeah. Jesus. So, <laughs> we're just gonna <laughs> drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons oh, going good. out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, a road. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Mm -hmm. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> you know what? I believe all it. Right, then. For some reason, Sean's growing on me more. Like, I, I liked him before, but he seemed like a little bit of an annoying piece of shit. You know, like in a, a semi endearing way. Oh no. I'm getting myself attached to everyone now. This is bad. Dear, literally. He almost jumped in front of my wagon. It wouldn't have been my fault. He did it to himself. Hold up a second. I'm You're holding. Not worried about them greys, English. Oh. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. Here, See? You can Sneaky. Act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love them. Damn it. Oh, yes. I love this point of view. It's it's beautiful. I can see so much. Moonshine. I We can look at our hand. That's nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look over here. I would like to actually have some idea of what's going on around me. So. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. I believe in you, Sean. Hold it right there. Hello. We're gonna let him, uh, con his way in. What do you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, <laughs> have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you know harm. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, oh, God. The officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. Okay. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. Moonshine something here. <laughs> Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a good job. Look at him go. I'm proud of him. Okay. We got this. Everything's Just going fine here. so yeah, far. It's That's the key so word. The phrase is so in. far. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch mm. of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage yep. his livelihood. Disgusting. We haven't been helping them oh, at dear, all. Oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. 
Just in there. Okay. Uh, right there. I was all worried before, but I I don't I don't know. I don't feel as worried now. I feel like they're not. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh. The missions the aren't like as scary a, as I thought they were. Do they? Excuse me? I'm like, okay. I'm nothing. It's grand. We can pull this off. No problem. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. Reminds me of one of just big houses there. Uh, melt ball. out from the fabric. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite that Ayo. <laughs> I don't want to kill him again, but we do what we gotta down. do. I'm sorry. <sighs> Better luck in the next life, on? my dude. Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. Oh, please. Clue me in. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, okay. it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Okay, okay, Look, okay. Once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Oh. I have to pause just one second because I have to take in exactly how much... You know, like, in The Grinch? And at the end, his, his heart, like grows three sizes you know like that's that's what's happening now with all these characters like as sean said that my heart just went oh oh i love him god damn it nobody told me i'd fall in love with every single fucking character in this game of course not micah but you know you, you can't win them all you can't make me fall in love with every single character i don't think anything's managed to do that for me yet so Okay. He's from Rebel Stock. I love him. Okay, we're gonna go. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. I just wanna hide behind here. here. You don't see me. Uh, oh hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This Get down, Arthur. Strange. So what you got there? We're like in Tools, plain view. Payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Mm-hmm. We'll take care of this fella. Okay, thank you. Then I go into the fields, right? The fields just straight ahead. What? You tell Sorry, dude. Fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Okay. We're pouring. Nervous. There's lots of guards around. That's good. Mm-hmm. Like Can I take them out silently or do I not risk it at all? Do I just Because I have to make it across the field somehow without being seen.
so tired of losing. Do you ever just get tired of sucking at video games? Because I do. <laughs> but it's all I do. <sighs> okay. We're gonna do this so Wait, sneaky this time. Coming on the left. Huh. What was that? Hey, who's that? God damn it! How? How do we look at this? Okay. Calm. Serene. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Okay. We're gonna do it for real this time. Okay. This is progress. If anyone's out there, you better show yourself. Please no. Please no. Be enough for here. Nobody sees me. Oh, damn it. Okay, okay. Uh, I guess it was nothing. Yeah, go back. This guy. I see him. How do I make him go away? Turn around. Turn around and leave. Please. Have mercy on me. Ooh. Okay, okay. Okay. We're making more progress than we were before, and that's honestly all that I care about. So... We found a method to our madness. And where's the guard over here? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh my god. You don't see anything. Turn around. Just turn around and walk away. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Pour in the last of our moonshine. Oh my god, how far away is the barn? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I think we finally got it. Okay, okay, okay. Book it, book it, boys! Book it, book it! Book it! This is the barn, right? No? There's another barn? 
Okay. Where's the other barn? That barn? Okay. Return to the fields. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Sean! Save me, Sean. I'm a damsel in distress. I need saving. Okay. We're gonna dope this too. Here we go. Douse, douse. Oh my god! No, I please, please say it saved me at a checkpoint that was closer. Please. I was trying to use the moonshine. I thought maybe I'd pull some more out. Hi. Oh, that's okay. I'm just like right here. Okay, well, I'm not gonna shoot that last time, like last time. We're just gonna wait for Sean to do it all by himself then. Then I'm not gonna help at all. I'm just gonna sit here and watch. Burn the barn. Equip fire bottles. Oh, yeah! Would you look at that? Yep. Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. Let's do it. Okay. Take out the greatest guards. Okay. I'll help out. Um. Oh Jesus! I almost shot the horse. Got him. Oh, where? Oh, right there. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. And ha. Ha. They seem to be taking a This is a goddamn mess. It is a mess. You are correct. Come on, where are they? Let me at him. Where? Oh, fucking right, fucking. I <laughs> uh, got him. I had to loot. He had 81 cents. I'm following. Can I pull my gun out, please? Oh, he got him. This is this is a little bit excessive. This is I feel like this is a bigger deal than the horses was by far. Okay. This is this is an army. Where are they? I'm coming! I'm going! Yeah! This is this is like a declaration of war. So there it is! Maybe they haven't unloaded that cash yet! Maybe free the horses. Okay, I'm freeing. I'm freeing. I'm cutting free. Cutting free. Okay. I'm go. I'm trying. I'm wait for Sean. Oh, okay. There he goes. I'm like, hello. Oh, really? He gets the white one. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. This big horse. Oh, 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 sorry, horsey, I'm sorry. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. I'm worried. Okay, out the front gate. Here we go. I'm worried. This is like a big deal. Jesus, that turned into a right party. You call that a party? That break we had got our money's worth, Arlie. Mm. Let's just get out of here first. Yeah, no celebrating yet. Go off soundtrack. Woo! Beautiful. My horse is out of stamina. I think we lost him. How we did. Quite a well, night. We sure. lived. Interesting That's that something. Just put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Here's oh, hoping. Head on back to camp. You coming? Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's go. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, that could have gone worse. Could have also gone a lot better. I feel like that went south a little bit. Like, yeah. Because with stealing the horses, that's a big thing. But I feel like this is, like, you're setting fire to their property. Killing all their personal guards. You know, it's, I feel like it's more than just some fancy horses. Here we are. <sighs> Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm posting for the smoke. I think I have too much tobacco. Can I hitch my horse? Oh, I thought I completely just like ran it over. That would have been something. Okay. Can we tell Dutch? Is that Micah sitting there? I don't want I don't want to. I don't want to. I choose not to. I simply will not. I refuse. Fine, you little bitch. Okay. What's up? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's mm -hmm. because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No Says doubt. Says Micah? Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. We're old doing Mr. that. Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. Hi, Dutch. You tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean... I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adjusco boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a cornered tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Yeah. Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, it's, of course. Yeah. It's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We hmm. ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. We've gotta take. Mm. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Oh, okay. 
That was a surprisingly profound moment um, from Dutch right there. The whole little cycle of revenge from him and Colm. He killed Colm's brother and then oh, Colm will just go apparently kill the woman he loved. Hmm. Okay, well I have a really bad feeling about this. But it, we're Arthur. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Yep. I don't want to go with Micah either, but I mean, it is what it is. It really, it does sound too good to be true. You know, I've been but fighting I, I don't know. for so long now. I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Yeah. Here he goes, Doubton Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I think that's very I ain't sensible. I'm costing lives here. I'm saving them. If it works. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head? Hmm? Mm. Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen. But like I said, I'm nervous. Yep. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. Mm -hmm. so get on over there. Find a nice perch. Settle into. Oh. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. As I give you a reason not to. But oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend. With you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Shut up, Micah. It was only meaningful coming from Dutch, not from you. I mean, there's logic in it, but that's assuming everything goes right, and like, what are hey, the odds that this goes there. perfectly fine? Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. But if it does work out... Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. I don't believe Caring you. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. <laughs> it might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth it. Believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I damn. I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. I s I've called Dutch out before for being a manipulator, for saying what people want to hear, but All hot right, damn, that didn't work on me. You're that was a good speech. I agree with him. I I want to. Ugh. A spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, yeah. partner. Like... Damn. Even knowing that he's a manipulator and yep. he worries me. I'm, I'm a little bit pumped now. I'm like, yeah, I do want to believe in it. You're right, Dutch. He reminds me of, like, a less cool version of Erwin from Attack on Titan. Whose speeches could get anyone ready to die for what they believe in. 
Even things they don't believe in. But no. Okay. Oh, it's just too good to be true. But maybe we'll make it true. Oh, that's a good sign right there. That's not symbolism. Alright. Go team. Where are they meeting? This way? Okay, okay, okay. We can handle ourselves. We got this. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still no. believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. The emotion in this How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, are they going to come help us? I don't know. Colin's got a sense. Handing them over to the law. I don't know. Okay, okay, Strange Arthur. Times, they killed Seamus. Okay. The whole lot of um. With this fella, Colin's right. <laughs> we can draw them all. I don't know where we're going, but we're going to go this way. No, 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 I don't, no, 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 no. Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. They have to not come yet. help us, right? But I will. Did I fail? Did he actually shoot us? Where did he shoot us? Are we okay? Are we on a horse? Ha Finally! Put his weapons over there! I'm gonna fucking murder Dutch and Micah. Is that calm? What happened? Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Colm. <laughs> oh, Arthur. I hardly feel it. You will. Septic. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, 
I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. You're gonna be so mad. I feel He's so special. Raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. Don't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, we have to get out of it somehow. Right? So we are their escape, or they, they get to us and they'll, they beat the law. Ha. We can swing. Ha, okay. Okay. Here we go. We're swinging, boy. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Okay. Oh. Oh, hun. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Arthur. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing! I'm just gonna hurt him! I'm not a medical professional! Arthur! Oh no! I've seen this in movies before! No! Oh. oh god. Uh, why are you making me do this? I love you so much, Arthur. I literally would die for you. I love you so much. I just want you to know that before I do this to you. Okay. Oh. Oh, we gotta kill him. We gotta kill him. Dig like a, a nail file. Use the nail file. And and okay. Fucking snap his neck. Oh, that was smooth. Oh, Jesus. There's nothing else we can grab? Oh, Dutch better be here. It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. Do I keep going up? Leave the area on a horse. Where's a horse? Oh my god. Where do I go? Oh my god, I- th Can I just run for it? Can I just fucking run for it? I'm gonna run for it. I'm just gonna go. I'm going. I'm fucking going. They don't see anything. They're patrolling the roads? Okay. Can I go around? Oh, Jesus. Fuck it. Fuck, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. I'm go. Arthur, I'm so sorry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I am not having a good time. I am straight up not having a good time. I am not. Why the fuck did you make me play this game? Get me home. Oh, I'm trying, Arthur. Why did he have to say that? Okay. Dutch and Mike are gonna find us. It's the only time I've ever, like, 
wish Micah would do anything. They're gonna, come on, they can come across us, right? They're gonna go and they're gonna try and save us, but they're gonna come across us on the way there, and then they're gonna save us. Or we can just ride our way back. Are we good? Did we make it back? Fuck you guys. Okay, Forces. we're back. Forces. Fuck you, Dutch. Yeah, I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Man, Scrimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, you're safe now! Oh, let's get him to bed! You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty, Dutch. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. He fucking told them the si the plan was gonna go sideways. We all fucking knew it. Micah even said that he was like, he is the one who's not in danger. Fuck that bullshit. Oh, weeks later. Cool, great. We're time skips. I love them. I love them. We're just gonna skim past that. <sighs> I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. I'll take care of him. <sighs> oh, babe, your hair is so ugly. But you're okay. Okay, good. Good, you better replace my stolen weapon. Holy shit, guys! That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. My horse is trying to get to me. I just wanted to read what he said. That's not... Um... Nope. I need... Okay. An interesting encounter. An interesting. God. Uh -huh. I keep I keep messing it up. Okay. Huh. Just gonna run through these really quick. Oh, great. Great! I love you, caveman, so much. The first thing we're gonna do is shave that beard and cut your hair. Can we braid his hair? Is that a hairstyle? If so, I will accept long hair. I don't want to talk to Dutch, so I'm gonna go this way. Fuck you. Do you have anything to say to Arthur? You were coming for me, right, Dutch? Of course, son. Good to see you back up and at him again. A few more battle scars? Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. It is a terrifying thought because Dutch comes back for everyone. He came back for Micah and he came back for the whoever it was at the beginning. If Miller is a fraud, is he an honest fraud? Well, the way I see it, he's the worst kind of fraud, Mr. Dutch. Lenny. He's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. This kid is too smart, Arthur. <laughs> How do you mean? He's on vacation with the lower classes. The outlaws, those 
unprotected by wealth. You are too hard on him. He he writes with incredible beauty. Mm. Yes. <laughs> He's very ornamental, as my uncle would say. And your uncle? What was he? He was a slave. Most educated man in his county. But a slave. Miller writes about men like him. Ah, uh, Miller's a slave to a slave to pretty words and empty phrases, but he don't understand. You are too harsh a critic. <laughs> you insulted Look, his favorite author, you're Lenny. You're a great man, Mr. Dutch. But you ain't great because of Evelyn Miller. <laughs> Keep quiet, Morgan. He'll Lenny. eat you alive. It ain't My difficult. Boy. <laughs> no, but what I was saying before is that he came back for everyone, so it's in his character. And Arthur is arguably one of the closest ones to him, him and Hosea. But there, the second Arthur asked that, you would, you were coming for me, there was that, like, little fear. I'm not Arthur, and I don't care about Dutch the way Arthur does, but even I got this little anxious fear of, like, we'll never know, oh god, was he gonna come for Arthur? Was he just gonna, he wouldn't have just left. He wouldn't, right? It's just that insecure little doubt of, like, oh... God, there is so much to say. I was gonna say the intensity in the acting and and the way that they did the, the, the interaction and confrontation between Colm and Dutch was incredible. You could feel the pain. Holy shit, Dutch's actor. What the fuck, it was so good. Oh. Clean shave, we'll start starting a new do I have to go someplace to get a haircut? We can do that. <laughs> he can- here. We'll slick back his hair. Make him look all fancy. You know, it's an interesting style, but it's- it's not entirely bad on him. I will say. Oh my god, there's so much to say. So much to say in so little time. I don't want to play dominoes. Thank you very much. Good to be warm. Hosea. Sure. I don't know why, but Hosea just radiates such like dad energy. Like So what do you think, Arthur of Dutch's I love you. Plan? You know me, I never did much thinking. Yeah. I know you like to hide behind the angry moron act, but it's a thin enough veneer. If you He's say not stupid. So. Time to start thinking, Arthur. Before it's too late. I love him. I want to sit next to him at a campfire and have him give me fatherly wisdom. There's a spot here for you, Arthur. <laughs> hey, going? Charles. Good to see you back on your feet. No rest for the wick. I love you. Okay. Well, I should get back to it. Thanks, Arthur. I am so proud of Arthur. Holy shit. He escaped on his own, by himself, with no help from anyone. He didn't wait for anybody to come save him. He saved himself. Holy shit, man. I don't even know if I have time to- I have- I have time. We'll see. Maybe we'll make it a longer, longer video, but- Oh my god. I have so many feelings. Where are you, Ag Man, Abigail? Oh. Not ever. Just hey, look, we look like John now. Alone, with our long hair. You're pathetic. You're John. a pathetic man, John Marston. Don't I know it? Hey, you. Morning, dear. Do you even know how to dress? What's been going on? This and that? Well, I'll leave you to whatever that is. Whatever. We're totally not copying your style, John. Don't worry. I don't know why Abigail puts up with them, but... Ah! Okay, sorry, I just needed to scream for a second. I knew that they- uh, I, I could keep saying it over and over again, and I'm sure Arthur can keep saying it over and over again. 
that we saw this coming, we knew it wasn't going to end well, and yet they did it anyways. It doesn't fix anything, it doesn't change what happened, so there's really no point in talking about it. I'm just glad that Arthur's okay. Sadie! Ma'am. Hello. Hey, Sadie. So you didn't get Colmo Driscoll? Nope. No. Well, I'm feeling better, by the way. All right, well, I should be getting on. If you say so. I love you. <laughs> God. Yep. Hello? Idiot. Did you guys hear that? Just the scream? Oh, God. This fucking oh, game. What's happening over here? What's going on? Hello? Anyone moves, I go blink before I shoot you. Um. Hey, don't. Best you keep me. This bastard ain't worth it. Take that. I like how we started off by robbing trains and now we're stopping train robbers from robbing trains. I want to feed my horse. We need to pick up some horse food. We're gonna go into town. I'm gonna get my hair cut. We're gonna pick up some horse food and we'll see about whatever. Oh, fast travel. God damn it. I forgot. But it's like right here anyway, so it's fine. Is there a barber in this town though? Or do we have to like, cause I know Valentine did, but what if we don't have one? We have a gun place, general store, butcher, but I want to cut my hair. I'm gonna cut my hair. Long hair looks really nice, but he needs to style it. Oh, that's not the hat I want. That... Mm -mm. There we go. Okay. You're looking real nice today, Bill. I don't even want to go near him. I blame him. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, mm. I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on. Let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's Good point. Just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. Mm. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying yep. that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... <laughs> I 
I don't even know where people are going. gonna shove it in a hole and not deal with it it's okay it didn't happen it didn't happen it's just a fun shootout it's a fun fun little shootout why do I I thought I only had my pistols break it down break it down kick it down Shut the fuck up! You see that window and shot skull? Don't talk to me about shot. Better in here, not there. All you poor roads out into those sons of bitches. I want them dead. You sure about that? <laughs> so yeah, thinking the craze might be onto us after all. Now it's sinking in. Was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Very improper someplace, quiet. <clears throat> Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight. 
pair of fools. <laughs> Fuck. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Yeah. Now we can't go to Rhodes. What's happening? It. I did. I literally just said earlier in this video that I got attached to it. <laughs> That's it. I would like to re rephrase that. I am not attached to any of these characters. I don't care about them at all. I don't care about a single one of them. If so, yes. So now they're all safe. What, literally, what have we done? Can I go punch Dutch? I promise you, we will find the boy. Arthur, have you seen that boy? Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They I took can't him, deal with they, this they now. My son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. The rest of you, let's ride. Oh my God. Okay, let's go get that boy back. Why is this all happening at once? Why is this all happening now? I can't I can't process this. Out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got Because it was so stupid. I know. I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. That's me. Yeah. I don't want to think about it. This I is our it. fault. I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What they killed the Sean. Jack Who has to be okay. You can't we both go. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! I... Also, I want people to know exactly how much... Okay. Let Jack, Jack is loved. Nobody the whole fucking camp is going to get this little kid back. And good. Literally, if they touch, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. They already took away Sean. They would. I wasn't. I just. I wasn't prepared for this. I just wanted to get a haircut. I.
<laughs> I'm sorry. First song, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? It's all. It's literally our fault. Right now, like they don't know oh. we're coming. You got us here, Dutch. Fucking. Okay. I'm ready. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. He's gonna get his baby boy back Follow and we're gonna fucking lead. help him. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. This is our fault, but we're gonna fucking yeah, fix it. Yeah. Who That's just right. Goddamn boy. I'm gonna let it fly at those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. I'd be losing my fucking mind. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. John. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. I'm ready to shoot him. I'm down. No qualms. All of them at once. Let's go. Don't give a single fuck anymore. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Can't fucking aim worth shit. Oh. Come on. Let's go. Watch out here for any other arrivals. Pick up the ammo. Get in there! Find Jack! And find that price white woman! Jack! You in here? Fucking we're Jack. jumping on top of furniture now. Oh, now we're stuck. I'm sorry, Jack, we're coming. Fucking kick open that shit. Can we open this side? Jack? Oh, shit. Ah! Bitch. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, run. Come on, come on, John. Let's go get your kid. I'm coming, I'm coming. He's walking so slow. Come on, come on, come on. John, Arthur, we'll hold you down here. We got more coming in. Arthur, get oh, out geez. there. We got this door covered. Grab the rifle by the chair if you need it. Go to hell. Um. Almost got it. Come on. Oh, he's already dead. Oh my god. My goodness. I'm getting a phone call in the middle of this fight. Jesus, hang on. Oh my god. Okay. 
I'm helping, I'm helping, I'm helping, I'm helping. The real world was trying to distract me. I'm gonna die. Fucking. Where is he? Okay, 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 okay. Not that way. I told you there's no getting in this way. They got it blocked. I can't see a goddamn thing. I'm going. One, two, two, three. Go, go, go. There. Take that, you son of a fucking bitch. Where's the boy? Well, we have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. Can we? You boys Can we? Oh, yeah. Okay, then burn it. You got that one, I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no the rules kid. in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What Can we, we kill her? her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Not the soundtrack. I can't handle a good soundtrack on top of everything that's happening right now. I can't do it. I can't. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Not another one. Visitors, a solution. Not you. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. 
Huh. <laughs> Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. The worst part is I have to stop there. I don't want to. I... I knew I started out by saying that I had a bad feeling about everything that was going to go down. But then the worst part is that as I was going through the quest, my bad feeling kind of lessened a little bit. And I was like, oh, this isn't so bad. This is fine. I see this having an okay ending. And then that all of that happened. First, with Arthur getting captured. Which was devastating to me, but then that's the least of my worries now because he escaped because he's a badass bitch and he doesn't need anybody's help. I really wasn't expecting what happened with Sean and I don't know why it gets to me as much as it does, but it does. I feel like I had finally started to see a little glimpse of character in him that I really liked. You know? And they took that. That was cool. That was great. That was... That was fantastic. Cool. Cool. 
And then immediately jumping from that into Jack. And all that. And now... And now this! Oh my god. I've almost been recording for three hours. I need to go. I need to go. This episode is way too long. But I have so much to say. I don't... Oh my god. How do we fix this? How do we... How? How? How is it possible for us to fix this? I don't know. I don't know. I will say one thing, though. I started this by thinking that I saw through Dutch. And maybe I still do. Maybe those rants about his motivations and what he's doing are still true. But I wasn't connected to him then. I didn't feel any of that, like, bond with him then. So it was easy to call him out on this and be like, this is what he's doing. I see you manipulative character over there. But this video, for some reason, I get it. And his speeches and everything he's saying work on me too. Because that part right there at the end, where Milton gave them the chance to leave if they just gave up Dutch. And they're like, no. Never. This is our camp. This is our way of life. And that is our leader. That's our Dutch. And we will die before we let you have him. And even though I'm not sure about Dutch's motivations all the time, I agree. Fuck no. Fuck. This game is really, really good, guys. And I have a feeling it's going to destroy me emotionally if this is... If this is just a taste of what's to come, then I just... God. Okay. I gotta go. I've been recording for two hours and 51 minutes. I love you guys. I hate you guys also for recommending this game. <laughs> that was great. But stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.